room, you two. All oh, right, you had a room, didn't you? My attic. <coughs> oh, good morning. Well, you're looking uh, lovely this morning, Miss Lennox. Yeah, well, I'd look a lot better if I'd had some sleep last night. Oh, and Dora keep you out? No, dear, not in Dora. No. There was quite a bit of creaking and groaning coming from the attic last night. I can't imagine who'd kick up a ruckus like that, can you? Mm. Oh, no. <sighs> I don't think Ethan and Julian believed my story of what happened the night that Eve tried to poison Liz. <sighs> Maybe that's because I lied. <laughs> it wasn't Eve. It was me. <sighs> oh. oh. No, no, no. Focus, Becky. All right? Now you just you just keep your story straight. And Eve will go to jail for a long, long time. <sighs> Mother? Are you shaking like a leaf? Are you, are you okay? Are you in trouble? I tell you, Ethan, I... I would bet my Bentleys that Rebecca knows more than she's telling about Liz being poisoned. The trick is to find out what it is. You know, Julian, I have to say, I've never seen you as concerned about anything as you are about helping me win Eve's case. That's because if we don't win, Eve will be sent to prison. I lost her once, Ethan, and God is my witness. I will never lose her again. Whitney's already left for the cloistered convent? Yeah, Teresa drove her. They're probably there by now. No, if we hurry, we can convince Whitney to come home before it's too late. Leave Whitney alone. She was right to join a convent. Simone, why would you say such a thing? Because it's true. We're all better off never seeing Whitney again. My name is Whitney Russell, and I'm here to join the Order. I want to live here in seclusion for the rest of my life. Please wait while I tell the Mother Superior you're here. Don't do this, Whitney. Please don't cut yourself off from the people who love you. Teresa, I have to. I cannot risk being with Chad ever again. This is it. There's no turning back now. This is Fancy Crane calling. Put me through to the head of Crane security. Yes, I'll hold. My mother was right. I have to find Noah and tell him he doesn't have to leave Harmony to keep his family safe. The grandfather will protect us both from any more Vegas thugs coming after us. Yeah, um, I need your people to locate a Noah Bennett for me. He left town before I could tell him something he really needs to know. Uh, I have no clue where he's headed. Just that he likes to gamble. <laughs> oh, uh, um, yeah, and don't bother telling Grandfather what you find. Just leave that to me. Uh. Okay, thanks. Um, just call my cell phone as soon as you find Noah. <sighs> I hope I get to Noah before he gets into trouble. Shot was no one good. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. What's the deal with missing that shot? I thought you were going to win this game and the money. I will, all right? But it has to look real. If Tiny gets wind that I'm trying to con him, it's going to rip me apart. Right, just remember, it's my money out there. And if you lose this game and I lose out on what you owe me, you're going to lose. 
and lose big. I would hold the hand of the one who could leave me places and kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet. That was quick. Oh, you found Noah? Where is he? Uh, what's the address to this roadhouse? Uh huh. Yeah, I'll find it, no problem. No, no, I don't need Craden's security to come with me. I'll blend in just fine. Come on, Prestine, let's go find Noah. Oh, and just remember, don't do anything to draw attention to yourself. We have to be inconspicuous for Noah's sake. Honey, no, no, I'm not afraid of getting in trouble. No, 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 if I seem shaky, it's just the cook made the coffee extra strong this morning, and, uh, well, you know, Mama's little helper helps to even things out. I hope so, I know you don't want to be late for the spa. Yeah, well, I'm not going. <gasps> oh, uh, I, I, I don't want to. Okay, you've never in your life missed an appointment at the spa. Remember you even had the ambulance take you that one time when you had the flu? Honey, really? Oh, you're making it seem like I'm obsessed with my looks. Well, Mother, because you are. <laughs> Spa's your favorite place in the world. Can you please tell me what's going on? I mean, have you done something? Damn it. What is it? Julian. There's just nothing to seize on. You need either court documents or witness statements to cast reasonable doubt on the prosecution's case to clear Eve. I'm sorry, but the way it looks now, Eve will most likely be convicted. No, no, no. See, I, I know quite simply that Eve did not try to kill me or my father or Liz. And surely my, my testimony on her behalf will undercut what Liz and father have to say. Not when the DA will rip your testimony to shreds in cross-examination. You will either have to perjure yourself, or you'll have to admit that Eve hated you at the time that you were shot at the cannery. And Julian, the DA, is going to make it sound as if Eve is only with you, so you will testify on her behalf. No, oh, please, that's preposterous. I love her. She loves me. We're engaged to be married. Nothing. And no one will ever keep us apart. Oh, Simone, you're home. What's up with you two? So, how did you get in, honey? Are the airports open? Oh, right, the tsunami. Uh, yeah, the airports are open again. No, they're not. Um, sweetie, is that a bump on your head? Um, it's nothing. Oh. So how'd you hurt yourself, Simone? Oh, you skating on Venice Beach without a helmet on? What? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I should have been wearing my helmet. Simone, you are lying. You didn't go to California. What? How yeah. did you know? Well, sweetheart, I heard you come in last night. I went up to check on you to see if you were okay, but you were already asleep. So you know what I did? I called the professor that was in charge and asked him, how were you on the trip? See if you behaved. 
but he told me that you backed out even before the trip started. Oh, God, Simone, where have you been all this time? Please wait inside. The Mother Superior will see you shortly. Thank you very much. Whitney, please, let's just go back to Harmony. Okay, joining this convent just to cut yourself off from Chad is wrong. You gotta face your problems and not run from them. Who's running? No, this solves my problem, don't you see? At least I won't be tempted to sleep with my half-brother again. Good morning, my dears. Welcome to our humble convent. Thank you. Thank you, Mother Superior. Thank you so much for seeing us. I want to join your order, and I want to join right away. You seem troubled. What's wrong? Why do you want to live here as a sister? Well, I, um, I've committed crimes against God and against nature. Surely you exaggerate. I slept with my half-brother. You what? I slept with my brother. <laughs> we didn't know we were related when we first were together, but later we found out. But you know what? That didn't stop us because we were intimate as recently as last night. Good heavens. I know, I know, I know. It's wrong, and, and, and it'll never, ever happen again. And that's why I want to be a nun here. That's why I want to be a nun here in your convent. Fantastic. I wouldn't know, dear. You're the one he was shaking the rafters with all last night. Really, okay. I, I am shocked at your behavior. Really shocked. Oh, well, please, okay? You and Endora created an earthquake and a tsunami that brought pain and suffering to our entire town. Yet you have moral objections to Fox spending the night with me? What? Uh, I'm merely surprised at the intensity of a relationship that seemingly came out of nowhere. I'm just... I'm just worried about you, dear. Why? Well, have you thought where this pas de deux is going to end? I mean, do you really think that Fox is, is your knight in shining armor? Oh, I don't know, okay? But what I do know is that he really seems to care about me. And he's great with kids, <laughs> especially Maria. And Endora, too. Shut. It's blue. Blue. Of course. What color is that? Colors. Yellow. Yellow. What color is oh, that? Oh, don't Fox and Endora make a cute little couple. <laughs> Hear that, Endora? Even Kay can see you're going soppy over your half-brother. <laughs> Stop pretending that you care where I've been, because you don't. Neither does Daddy. That's not true. Simone, of course not. Oh, really? Because I've been gone for weeks, and neither of you call my cell phone once. TC, I thought you were keeping tabs on her. Well, well, Eve, I thought you were. And after all the trouble I went to, having a friend of mine in California let me know when you guys called, so that I could pretend to be there. Talk about a waste of my time. But then again, I guess I'm a waste of your time. Oh, now, Simone, you can't think that. Sweetheart, we love you. You say it, but you don't show it. Neither of you has time for me anymore. You're so busy with Aunt Liz, and you're so busy with Julian, and your upcoming trial, it's a wonder you have time to show Whitney the attention you do. Simone, you know that Whitney has had more than her fair share of problems lately. Yeah. Before that, it was her tennis career, and then her singing career. Simone, please. But what I didn't see coming was the two of you standing there, together, just now. Aren't you engaged to Julian? And aren't you engaged to Aunt Liz? No, Simone, not anymore. Your father broke off our engagement. Why? He thinks he still loves your mother. Liz, can we talk about this later? Simone needs our undivided attention. Oh, Paul, all you care about is Whitney. Whitney and Fox, Whitney and Chad, Whitney and Miles. It's all freaking Whitney all the damn time. Oh, Simone, honey, please. Please don't try to deny it. You love Whitney the most. You always have. Okay, Whitney's the beautiful one. She's the perfect one. She's the gifted one. 
wonderful, perfect Whitney. She gets all your love and your attention and your time. And even now, she's messed up her life royally and she still gets all your love and your attention and your time. I thought that I was doing you a favor by disappearing so then you could just go on with your sordid lives worried about poor Whitney and you don't have to be bothered by me, your second rate, second class other daughter. You actually c committed incest with your own brother? My half-brother, yes. And we have a child together as well. But back when I got pregnant, we didn't know we were related. I mean, that didn't come out till later. But like I said, the problem is now that we know we are related, I can't turn off my feelings for him. You see, I still love him. And after we were trapped together during the tsunami, alone with our baby, the temptation was just too much for us both to handle, and we slept together again. Mercy. And I know, I know it was wrong, but we did it anyway. And I know if I had the chance, I would be with him again. Oh, dear. And that's exactly why I'm here, because I know that I can never, ever let that happen again. That's why I want to become a nun in your convent and live a cloistered life here forever. I am so sorry, Whitney, but you cannot come here to escape life's problems. Well, if I can't come here, where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? Back to my brother's bed? Oh, heavens, no. OK, then please. Please, you have to let me stay here. Well, all right, so given that my testimony could be a problem for Eve, and given that Father and Liz both hate Eve enough to lie under oath, how do you, how do you plan to defend her? I'm going to start, I'm going to poke holes in the prosecution's case. Two of the attempted murder charges are only based on circumstantial evidence. Well, yes, of course, my shooting and Father's poison. Yes, in both instances, Julian, plenty of people made no secret to the fact that they wanted you and Alistair dead. And then there's Liz. Same poison that was used to try to kill Alistair was used to poison her. And Eve's... Eve's swipe card was used to access the hospital pharmacy where the poison was kept. And Eve was all alone with Liz in the basement when she was poisoned, with the exception of Rebecca, who claimed she saw Liz fall to the floor when the poison took effect. Yes, you see, but if that's all Rebecca saw or did... I agree. I think Rebecca is keeping something from us, and there's more to the story. But the real problem is Liz. She said that Eve was the one that poisoned her. What a... Eve swears she didn't? All right, then... Then either Rebecca poisoned Liz, or Liz poisoned herself. Listen, Liz hates Eve enough to risk her own life to ruin Eve's. Maybe. But what motivation does Rebecca have to poison Liz? Given her warped little mind, anything is possible. Yeah, you know, well, proving it is a whole nother thing. I say we focus on finding a lie in Rebecca's deposition. If I can crack that open, I might be able to score a breakthrough that way. Mother, please tell me that nothing has happened. To give Teresa the proof she needs to expose us as the ones who revealed Ethan's true paternity to the tabloids. Honey, no, no, it's, uh, it, it's nothing like that. Thank God. You know, if that happened, you know I'd lose Ethan. Yeah, well, no, no, that, that secret is safe. Wait a second, that secret? You mean there are more secrets? Honey, I, I don't want to burden you with my problems. I mean, especially when you have so many of your own. Mother. You are a pain in the neck on most days, but a burden never. OK, and I've been unloading all of my problems on you, so let me return the favor. Tell me what's going on. OK. Uh, all right, OK, OK. OK, you remember that, that I was in the church basement when Eve tried to poison Liz? 
Yeah, I mean, you're one of the star witnesses for the prosecution, right? Yes, and then Ethan took on the case. Look, so what? You just have to tell the truth. I can't do that. Now, then I would get myself in a whole lot of trouble. Wait, so you've been lying about what you saw that night? You know you could go to jail for perjury. <laughs> yeah, if that's all I'd be charged for. Mother, what are you talking about? I mean, you corroborated Liz's story that Eve tried to poison her punch. Liz lied. What? Um, she didn't see Eve try to poison her. You see, she lied just out of spite. Okay, well, if she didn't try to poison Eve's punch, then who did? What? You tried to kill Eve's sister. No! Well, thank God. No, I meant to kill Eve so I could have Julian all to myself. Sweetheart, you have a point. When you two girls were growing up, I did focus a lot of my attention on Whitney. A lot? Try all of it. Honey, I was trying to mold a tennis pro, and that was very time consuming, but I tried to make time for you. Sweetie, I admit I was increasingly busy at the hospital, but I thought that I made time for you. It was another chore on your to-do list. Oh, no, baby, that is not true. Never mind. I stopped caring a while back. So go. Go after Whitney. Take Fox with you. And then everyone that Whitney has a problem with can try convincing her to come back to Harmony. Simone, whoa, whoa, hold up. Now, look, Whitney and Fox are OK now. He knows why she cut him loose and why she gave up Miles for adoption. You see, Fox isn't Miles' father. I am. Please, Mother Superior. Please, you have to let me stay here, please. I'm not turning you away, child. You're welcome to stay here. Thank you. As our guest. But as for joining our order to remain here permanently, that's a talk for another time, after much reflection and prayer. Oh, I understand, yes. While you're our guest, however, you're free to come and go as you please. Oh, no, 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 that's okay. I, I don't want to leave. I want to stay right here. I'll have the sisters make up your room. In the meantime, I must insist you go back to Harmony and say goodbye to your loved ones as best you can. Make peace with them any way you can. Go back. But see, I don't want to go back. I, I, mean, I mean, I already said my goodbyes to everyone, and they know that I'm here. I'll see you upon your return. I guess I really don't have a choice. Whitney, I think the Mother Superior is right. You, know, you should uh, try to make peace with your past before you start living your future. If this is the future that you want, it is. I will do as she asks, and I'll go back and give everyone a proper goodbye. But then I'm going to come back here and live out the rest of my days. I swear. <laughs> Don't you grin at me like that, young lady. You've spent quite enough time with Fox. I can't get over how good you are with these kids. 
Yeah, well, you know, when I thought Whitney was pregnant with my child, I did a lot of research and, you know, really got into it for a while there. I can't believe that Chad is Miles' father, not you. Yeah. Did you, did you say that, that Miles is Chad's baby? Yes. Fox just found out. Yeah. But, 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 but Chad and Whitney are half brother and sister. Yeah, I know, which is why she lied to me. She didn't want people pointing at the kid, calling him a freak and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, look, that mess is behind me. I'm uh, trying to move on. Who knows, maybe I'll luck out this time, huh? Who knows? This morning's been great, by the way. As I was last night. Well, oh. uh, how? You good? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jumping Dora, but with unexpected results. <laughs> Fox and Kay are getting closer and closer and more insipid by the minute. rather not go this route, but we could attack Rebecca's credibility, her um, escapades, they're pretty much public knowledge. You mean our sexcapades? God. But you know, uh, perhaps if a jury is truly aware of what Rebecca's capable of, they'll be less likely to believe her testimony over Eve's. How so? Well, Rebecca's immorality extends far beyond the bedroom. All right, give me an example. Well, for instance, I... I never wanted to take little Ethan from Teresa, nor Vic Pilar from a house. I, uh, Rebecca blackmailed me into going along with her. Over what? Well, take your pick. My seeing E behind TC's back, various things I've done over the years at Father's behest that broke both civil and criminal laws. So you really couldn't testify against Rebecca without risking arrest yourself? I don't care. I'll do anything to help Eve. She's the woman I love. So, you're Miles' father and his uncle. This family's freakier than I thought. Simone, honey, please don't make light of Whitney's situation. You have no idea what she's been through with Chad and the baby. I know what I've been through because of Whitney. I grew up ignored, always competing for your time and attention, and then competing with Whitney for Chad and losing him. Simone, come on now. We've been through this. I was never your boyfriend. You need to let it go. Oh, I've let it go, Chad. More than you can imagine. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Never mind. I'm going out to meet some friends. What friends? Uh, are these the friends you stayed with when you were supposed to be in California? It's none of your business. Well, yes, it is, young lady. It is our business. We are your parents. Simone is of legal age. Leave her alone. Stay out of this mess. Hey, everyone, stop it. OK, you're going to upset Miles. So you really think that you can do this? Go back and say goodbye to everyone that you know and love, and then just turn around and spend the rest of your life away from them. Look, I don't want to talk about this, OK? Let's just change the subject. What about you? I, I mean, obviously, you recovered from Alistair shooting you when the earthquake hit, right? Yes. And then the tsunami hit with me, and I, I, I was washed away. And I severed this artery in my leg. <clears throat> what? No. Yeah. Ethan was with me. He stopped me from bleeding to death. He stayed with me at the hospital until I was OK. My god. Well, Gwen must have freaked when she knew that you guys were together. Well, actually, she freaked out when she found out that I was moving back into the mansion last night. OK, well, how did that happen? Alistair. 
He said he's gonna help me get Jane and Ethan back. You know what? I got a better idea. Why don't you come join the convent with me? No. Mm -mm. I'm gonna get Jane and Ethan back, and when I do, I'm gonna make sure Ben and Rebecca pay for every single thing that they've done to me. You tried to kill Eve? Are you insane? No! No, I am Mrs. Julian Crane. All right, and she threatened to take that all away from me if he divorced me to marry her. Okay, and your first thought is to kill her? Well, blackmailing Julian wasn't working. Mother, you're completely out of your mind. Okay, okay, I admit things didn't go exactly as I planned. I mean, what with Liz almost dying and everything, but, but now Eve is gonna go to jail for three charges of attempted murder, and then Julian doesn't have to divorce me to marry her. So, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Huh, I win. Huh. Unless Ethan figures out that you're lying, then you're gonna be the one going to prison. Alistair, he's my last chance at happiness with you. Just like you staying away from Chad is yours. I'm not happy about what I'm doing, but at least I'm choosing good over evil right over wrong. You making a deal with Alistair Crane, that's as bad as it gets. But when Ethan and Jane are finally with me and little Ethan, it's gonna be as good as it gets. You know, aside from Liz, Rebecca is the prosecution's strongest witness. I'm gonna ask her some follow-up questions. Maybe poke some holes in her story, and if I can do that, maybe the DA's case will start to unravel. Ready or not, Bex, here we come. Look, Ethan and Julian will never find out that I accidentally poisoned Liz. And so Liz's statement will hold up in court, and then the once future Mrs. Julian Crane will just be a number in the federal prison system. Mother, I wouldn't count my enemies until they're convicted if I were you. Remember, Ethan is a brilliant lawyer. He can sense when a witness is hiding something and then maneuver it so that they reveal it on the stand. You better stay on your toes or Ethan's gonna expose you. No way, honey. You and I are the only ones who know what I did. Ethan and Julia will never find out. Korean security said Noah was here, but I don't see him. Morning, ma'am. What would you like? I'm in the mood for sex on the beach. I'm flattered, but I don't get off till four. I meant the drink sex on the beach. It's all the rage in Mystique. Yeah, well, all the rage here is beer and whiskey. Take your pick. I'll have a beer. Imported light. Beer. Domestic. Dark. Want some water for the rat? Christine is a dog. To you, maybe. But to the rats around here, she's a snack. If I make this last shot, and you win it all. You can pay me back, and then you'll have tons of cash for your trip. You won't make it, Noah. You stunk at pool big time back then, now you reek to high heaven. Watch me, Tiny. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, look, Pristine. It's Noah. <gasps> oh, what? Fancy. Here comes trouble. Walking in on high heels. Thanks for starting my day off, right? And last night was. It was, um... it was my pleasure. Oh. This ooey gooey morning alarm business. And Dora, I don't mind if Fox is your half brother. The dark side code of misconduct clearly states that evil employees must make mortals miserable as a matter of course. So, I'm afraid your mother is obliged to cast a spell on Fox. Yes. Give him a good dose of old-fashioned heartache. 
Mother, I feel like we are living in a house of cards built on so many secrets and lies that if just one shred of truth comes out, the whole thing's going to topple over and ruin us. Honey, honey, that is not going to happen. Look, Teresa is never going to get Jane. You are never going to lose Ethan. And no one is ever going to find out that I tried to poison Eve. Earl? Oh, we've been really close all of our lives, so... I hate that I'm never going to see you again. Well, yeah, of course I'm going to miss you. But, but just write me, okay? Yeah, of course I'll write you. Okay. <laughs> well, I better get home to Jane and Little Ethan, so... I love you, Whitney. I love you, too. Okay. You take care of yourself. All right. All right. I'm with you. Okay, this is it. After today, I'm never going to see anyone I love ever again. With me, honey. We didn't want you to go to a convent. Yes, honey. Your place is right here in Harmony. Liz is right, Wendy. You can't abandon our baby. Miles needs you just as much as I do. Damn it. Fancy, you made me miss my shot. Please, who cares about your stupid shot? I do. Okay, Noah missed it, which means that I lose my stake. And Noah here loses his life. Let's put it on up the hill. You had to ask, huh? Is Stop trying to talk me out of doing the right thing here. I have to leave. I have to leave forever. Without my spell, Fox is in for it. You owe me, and I'm gonna collect one way or another. 